Okay, so. <coughs> back for more of these uh, fake grand order. Last by five Atlantis. Uh, we're on to section 11. Glimmer is like a meteor. Alright, oops. Like. A Lancer. I feel dizzy. My memories are patchy. It's as though part of my brain is missing. What happened? Something happened. Everyone's collapsed. They haven't vanished yet. But that's clearly just a matter of time. I can feel death closing around me. There's no escape. My heart freezes over in sheer terror. This can't be happening. That was the first thing I thought once I finally regained my bearings. I focus my eyes to stare in shock at the young man standing before me. Cursed Tarya Wodime. He defeated every last one of our servants. And he did it single-handedly, without even one servant at his command. It was just a short while. Okay. Very well then, let's set up on our search for Lord Achilles. We already know he is on a Thetis island, so all we need to do now is set on a course. Right on. Man, I hope he turns out to be a Lancer. Huh? Does anyone else hear that? What is that sound? <clears throat> Pardon me, but we have an emergency. All hands, kindly prepare for battle. We detect a hostile headed your way from the southwest, south southwest at incredible speed. And given the sheer amount of magical energy we've seen, it must be Canis. Uh, does this mean she's found us? Huh, I don't know what all this commotion is about, but surely if we all band together. Ha, that's rich. A bunch of weak queens banding together to try and step up to the big leagues. Adorable. But unfortunately for you, this isn't a fairy tale, and you'll be living happily ever after. The whole ship is sinking! Jill me, get down! You bastards have nerve, keeping your little boat hidden with cheap tricks. Oh, that to sneak around my sea? That meant I actually had to work to find you. I would admit. I'm impressed you managed to survive Artemis' arrow. You might be weak, but I guess you've got guts. But that's all you've got, and it won't do you any good anymore. You're done for, Chaldea. I'm going to take my sweet time skewing each and every one of you. Do not mock us! Ha! And how are you gonna stop me, scrawny? She did not even bother to dodge. Canis. Hmm? Well, well. So that's what Chaldea's got grown a bit since last time. They've got an extra coward filling out their ranks. I guess this could be kind of a problem. Must have taken a lot to get such a pathetic loser worked up enough to actually join the fight. Guess this explains that other nonsense Kristaria was going on about. Well, whatever. Either way, I'm still gonna end this. Cry about it all you want, Jason. Your precious Heracles isn't here to save your sorry ass anymore. Not since that stupid Artemis got serious and blew him to pieces. <sighs> Gotta say though, I don't get that guy. Why in the world did he bother saving someone as pathetic as you? Believe me, I wish I knew. Maybe he just gotten sick and tired of your useless death weight dragging him down everywhere he went? <sighs> you little... Uh. Hey, don't get mad at me, Orion. Knowing Jason there, I bet he's been whining about pretty much the same thing himself. You know, you're not wrong. So hey, while we're asking questions, I've got one for you too, Canis. Say what? Seeing how you supposedly despise the gods more than anyone, I was just wondering how the feels being their little errant bitch. My best guess at this point is that you're just some kind of master chest or something. 
I can't think of any other explanation. <sighs> hey, don't be ashamed. We all have our own kinks. But you really shouldn't go around pushing yourself to others, Canis. Most people just can't handle that kind of humiliation. You got a big mouth for such a little punk bitch. So you know what? I'm gonna take my time with you. Go ahead and try. I dare you. Nobody insults Heracles around me and gets away with it. Gets away with it. You goddamn piece of trash. Calm down, Jason. Like hell I will. Let's go, everyone. You idiots aren't going anywhere. Your little voyage ends here. Oh, boy. Ah, god damn it. Oh well. I'm just gonna use Taunter. I can't do anything. Oh yeah, uh, okay, that yeah, anime. Right? That's awesome. Ouch. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Round two, but it's gonna be a little bit different. It's no use. Our attacks just aren't working. We're no match for Canis on the ocean. <laughs> and here I thought you were gonna put up a fight. No, Captain. How's it feel to know you're about to be chopped into cross sections? 
Don't worry though, I'll make sure to keep you alive after I tear off your limbs. When I'm done with you, there will be nothing left but a big plate to a human like Guess I should have figured a fisher's woman would know how to clean a fish. Even a third rate fisher woman who can't handle anything bigger than a minnow. He may not be the strongest seven, but his skill at flapping is spectacular. You just don't know when to shut up, do you? Fine, I'll do you a favor and crush your head first. Oh no you won't. I don't think so. Out of my way! Oh, how are you this strong? Nobody should be this incredibly powerful. You were nothing special when you were doing the Argonauts. No stronger than anyone else. <sighs> hmm? Did you just hurt Canis's feelings? Uh. Master, give me that thing you got from Drake. What thing? You know, the thing. Come on, think back. I got a key. What did you get? Bring it on, you overgrown sea shrew. I don't know what it is you got there, and I don't care. You're done for it, Jason. Once I kill you, I'll never have to see your stupid face again. I'm afraid you're the one who's done for, Canis. <sighs> what the? I... I don't believe it. It's only a scratch, but Jason still managed to wound Canis. <laughs> I knew it. You're no more fantasticism and open book to me now, Canis. <sighs> Once I remembered your legend, everything became clear. That noble fantasticism of yours might give you unbeatable defense, but it stems from the one you despise more than anything, isn't it? <sighs> That's right. That noble fantasticism is actually a blessing from Poseidon. Don't. Don't you dare say that name! <laughs> so you drag your sorry ass to Poseidon, bowing and scraping to beg for that noble fantasticism, huh? Ow. I'll kill you! The way you fly into your rage that moment you hear Poseidon's name is your fatal weakness, Canis. How else could I have managed to hurt you? <sighs> Orion, here! Rah! <sighs> what? Well, well, who would have thought that just holding on to this thing would be enough to make my attacks hurt you? That's right. That's Francis Drake's parting gift. I still don't know how she did it, but that damn pirate made up with something precious to recite on. Well, whatever dirty pirate trick she used to pull it off, the important thing is that we've now got a way to beat you. I might have only been able to scratch you, but I bet Orion's attack hit a lot harder, didn't it? And I'm sure I don't have to tell you why that is, right? Now I see. You. You're that son of a bitch's kid. Orion, it's all up to you. Your attack should pack a real punch now. Canis's noble fantasticism might be too strong, but it can't last forever. Got it. Don't worry. I'll make sure to smash it to pieces. Hmm... Like I have to go with another taunter, just in case. Psh. I have to change this one. To, uh, I don't know if it's gonna clear out the debuff with that taunt. I don't think so. Was it? No. 
Well, I mean, it's just 5 AP. Well, we're we'll giving it a try, see how it goes. <clears throat> Focus eye on the back line. I should have bring the uh, Rhinase for that, but whatever. Just for protection. Okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, oh my god, come on! You f- <sighs> Right, she has debuff immunity, doesn't she, huh? How long is this taunt? Ten turns? Set me go! ちょれろ。誰？あっちよ。誰？あっちよ。誰？あっちよ。あいな。はいはい。はいよ。あ、なんか嫌な予感がする。やべえ。アルテミス怒ってる。やれ、夢か。せい。逃げられると思うなよ。どれ、どれ、どれ、どれ、どれ。Doesn't she get uh No, I think it's after that turn she'll drain her uh thing. Around 200k her HP gauge gets to like uh under 200k her uh right after that turn it will reduce down. Alright. <laughs> there we go. Nothing. I didn't do anything. Oh, 
はいこれだぞお前はい行くぞねえおいつはぎってきたぞ落ちろ五星移動戦でしたおい、okay, 北斎カメンCould I lose a fight on the sea? And a Poseidon, stupid brat of all people. Damn it, I can't see it. What's going on? Am I gonna disappear now? Am I gonna die before I get to watch goddamn proper human history be destroyed forever? No way, I'm not disappearing. I can't disappear now. Help me. Somebody help me. Help me, damn it. I've still got debts, I've gotta pay back. Huh, I see you're just as bad at admitting defeat as you are at watching your mouth. Give it up, Canis. It's over. You're going to disappear, just like all the hero experience you slaughter in your grief for bloodlust. Just like them. I'm not in like them. I'm nothing like any of you bastards. I'm Canis, a damn divine spirit. I'm the one who will be taking revenge on the gods. I'm Kristalia, world I'm serving. It's only a matter of time until she disappears. But be better to safe than sorry. I'm going to destroy her spirit core. 
Agreed. I'm sorry, Silk Frost, but we have to finish her off. I know you're a diehard humanitarian, but we can't afford to take a chance on an enemy like this. Ah. Uh. Hmm? Oh, I see. You're so exhausted you can't even move anymore. Well, this works out nicely then. Don't worry, we'll make this quick. Um, excuse me, but I think there's something else headed our way. Ah! I can't let you do that. He's still useful to me. I am truly sorry, members of Chaldea, but I am afraid that I must destroy you now. I'm picking up fluctuation in space time about 10 meters ahead of Subfrost. This reading. It's a command spell. Watch out! You've got a master incoming! <sighs> Curse Taria Wodine. Not gonna say anything until next one. Okay. Well, as this one, you need to bring some very tankiness to survive, like ruler or rider. It's been a long time, Mash Kill It. And you must be Soap Frost, the last master who remained after the rest of us departed. I have nothing but a highest respect for how hard you have worked to come this far. That is why I decided to come and face you myself. I am Kustoria Wodai. I am the leader of the Cryptors, and the master entrusted with this Lost Belt. It's really him! Kristaria? Did you say Kristaria? I never thought he'd come after us directly. Munir, what are the scanners saying? Does he have any servants with him? Of course he does. He's a master, after all. I'm seeing two. No way. They're showing up as one? Oh, whatever. He's got two right behind him. And they're both divine spirit servants as strong as Canis. No, even stronger. Damn it! If it's not one thing, it's another! Although, is that really the big boss? The human that pompous blowhard Zeus recognizes as his equal? Huh, doesn't look so tough to me. He's just using that fancy cane and outfit to dress the part. Don't you talk it down to us, mage. Who do you think you are, floating up there like some sort of cloud? The only people with the right to look down on commoners are those big, are those born to be kings, like me! Silence, Jason. You have no business lecturing Lord Kostaria about anything. Bet you are, brother. I'm embarrassed just looking at him. A hopeless incompetent like you who was gifted with the blessing of the gods and the Argo. Yet still fail spectacularly. Spectacularly doesn't even deserve to be in the same room as Lord Kostaria. Lord Kostaria is a valiant hero who formed an alliance with Zeus, the king of the gods himself despite being human. He was born far more to fit to rule the human world as a king, then a loser like you could even dream of. This Dioscuri? You're the twin heroes of Gemini. First Canis turns traitor and goes over to the Lost Belt side, and now you two follow suit? What? You say? Don't you give me that crap. I'd rather die than go over to their side. That's enough, Canis. With wounds that severe, even speaking a few words could cause you to expire. <sighs> the Oscuri, take Canis away from here. It's all right. I have no need for protection. What? Look, Astaria, you would really have us save this incompetent, good-for-nothing woman's life. Indeed, I have to agree with my brother here, Lord Castaria. Canis is responsible for her own fate in this. I see no need for us to sully over ourselves with her filthy blood. Which is exactly why I'm entrusting this tax to you two. You do understand what that means, don't you? 
Very well. If our contracted master commands it, then so be it. <laughs> this is your lucky day, Canis. It would seem we have no choice but to help you. What? Hey, stop! Don't take her away! We almost had her! Don't be stupid! We're the ones who are being left off the hook here. The Dioscuri are even stronger than Canis. Now that they're both gone, we have the overwhelming advantage in servant power. Ugh. <sighs> Alright, I'll let Canis go then. But you won't be so lucky, Crypter. I take it that's alright with you, Master. We couldn't have asked for a better chance to eliminate him. Senpai. Yeah, can't hold anything back. Now then, this has taken longer than I expected, and time is short. I'm not here to debate the merits of our positions. I'm only here to settle things once and for- Wait, before we begin, I'd like to ask you something. Alright. As a former member of Team A, I suppose I can do that much. Ask your question. I have so many questions, supposed to choose one. I, uh... Why are you doing this? Everyone on Team A was part of Chaldea's staff. You were masters sworn to preserve all of humanity. So why? Why did you turn on humanity like this? Please, tell us why things turned out this way. Mash. I'm disappointed in you, Mashkula. I never thought you would waste time on the blindingly obvious. I already told you our, my goal, right when this all began. We have a message for all of humanity. This planet will soon be reborn as an old, brand new world. Human civilization was a mistake. The path of our growth was incorrect. And so I have made my decision. I will revolt against all of human history. Proper human history. We are about to build this world with inhuman mystic secrets. We will restore the age of gods. 2019, the year that proper human history came to an end. My reasons remain unchanged. Humanity has committed too many mistakes. In every era, every civilization, every hero, every nation, we humans have never once made the correct choice. I can only conclude that humanity as a species wholly lacks the requisite ability to do so. I am here to correct those mistakes, as is a foreign god who rescued me from the brink of death. The foreign god does not accept mistakes, the foreign god is a deity who desires only what is right. That is my answer, Mash. Now then, my erstwhile comrades, as you have surmised, the foreign god will descend upon us in a few days' time. So before that grand event, I will to be our greatest enemy here and now to put an end to this conflict. So you're here to take us all down, huh? Fine then, let's see what you got. So where are your subordinates? Or are you going to ask your power Zeus for help? Hardly. I don't need anyone's help to wipe you all off the face of the planet. You're gonna fight us? Without servants? Who the hell do you think you are? Regardless, this may indeed be the best chance we ever have. Master, I'm going to eliminate him as quickly as I can, before any other servants can show up. Master! Get your weapons ready. Uh, okay. Understood. Here goes. I can't. Uh, oh, I'll, I'll just... I can't. I just have to survive for like... There's a tankiness.
Just gotta bring some like tankiness going. Just have to survive for four turns and then uh, until Castoria charges his MP Gods max and to, that to end the battle. Stars, Cosmos, Gods, Animus, Antolm, Ambas, Anima, Animusphere. Ten wa megrazi. Butsu shimasu no? So it's ba ii no ka? Kokashira! Itte! Tenjou no kamigami no! カルディアの灯火よ。え、そうしませんの通り。え、光よ。行った。宝剣の兆しよ。カルディアの灯火よ。王瀬の通り。行った。これです。了解です。エルメロイの史上レースをとっとご堪能あれ。王城の兆しよ。カルディアの灯火よ。Am I gonna? I don't know if I'm gonna make it. So, hi. Santa, a true man. Hey. Hmm. Santa, the matchup was first. She was moving. Okay, here we go. コクの神。今人知の敗北を宣言する。マナコは古く、手足は脆く、知識は淀んだ。最後の人間として、あまたの決断、幾多の挫折、すべての繁栄をここに無と断じよう。Well, we lost. It was as though the stars themselves fell upon their heads. Howls, cries, screams. It was impossible to tell which they were. The spell's magical energy, easily as powerful as one of Artemis' arrows, shadowed servants one after another. His magical lineage used their celestial bodies themselves as a circuit of power. It was the ultimate magecraft for those with the deepest knowledge of astrology. A spell that has been passed down for generations since the first Chaldeans began to read the stars. A spell that united, united the boundless magical energy of the earth, the sky, and the universe into a single source of power. 
the same tremendous power as witnessed in the miraculous moments when planets are aligned. The roar of the stars. Stars. Cosmos. Gods. Animus. Antrum. Unbirth. Anima. Animus beer. Ah! All my comrades have fallen. No! It seems your servants did their best to protect you. But now, you're the only one left, Silk Frost. As long as the master survives, Chaldea will never give in, no matter how many servants we squash. But regardless of how well optimized Chaldea may be to summon servants en masse, they are utterly powerless without a master to hold them together. The wonder that Liner's attack on Chaldea was so devastatingly effective. Loath though I am to follow this example, I think it's best that I snuff your life out here and now. No, don't. The, 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 the host guy just went dark. Don't tell me he's going to hit us with that again. Damn it! Run for it so fast! Don't come back to the border! Not even a border could survive a hit from that. You won't be any safer in here than you are there. Don't sugarcoat it, but it's no use. That spell covers way too much ground. It doesn't matter how far Soap Frost runs now. It'll still catch both him and us. I hate to say it, but I think this might really be curtains for it. The young man raises his staff. The staff symbolizing celestial bodies towards the universe once again. There's nowhere left on this ocean. No, in this entire world where we can escape. It won't be long now before the starship commands begin their deadly reign upon the earth once more. No. There's nothing I can do. Every last servant lies sprawled out and helpless, including MASH. Even a beast whose true nature nobody knows hasn't had any power to call his own in a long time. I have no way of avoiding death. Command spells. Magecraft. The team in the border. None of it can do any good now. <sighs> There's someone here. She faces me and opens her mouth. I can't tell what she's feeling, nor can I hear what she's saying. But somehow, I understand her all the same. She's looking at me sprawled out and helpless, and she's mocking me, cursing me, despising me. Be gone. Huh? That back? <laughs> I don't have time for this. This wasn't on my schedule at all, but that's like for you. You took the words right out of my mouth. So you're the unidentified mage who's been going around helping people in each of the lost belts. The one from Chaldea. <coughs> what are you doing here? My understanding is that your goal is to investigate and assess the people of each lost belt. So I fail to see what reasons you have to aid the remnants of Chaldea. A great gust of wind whipped through the air, blowing away everything in sight. It was as though the wind shredded the steam obscuring my vision and ripped off the artifice with which I'd been affixed. <gasps> Romani! I... No. What an odd thing to say, Kushtaria. Since when do I need a reason to help Chaldea? I suppose I can't argue with that. Am I right to presume this is a one-time only mistake, Doctor? Of course, Kustaria. The foreign god once saved you from the brink of death. It is therefore only fair that the Chaldeans may be similarly saved, if only once. Don't you think that's the best way to ensure you're both on equal ground? I see. True. I can't deny that it's only fair. You always did have a way with words. While I would like to disregard your argument and finish them off for good, I would rather not have to fight you in the process. 
It would be my second fight after all. And that is something I must avoid for now. Very well. Now that you have made yourself known, I will be gracious and let you save face. What did you say? I end this battle now. Let Chaldea survive yet again, and we leave it at that. Agreed. I also prefer to avoid needless conflict after all. Why not save our energy for when we really need it? If you leave, then so will I. And I don't just mean here and now. I mean from this entire lost belt, of course. I'm impressed you have the gall to say that. As if you hadn't long since washed your hands of the matter. Farewell then, Doctor. I doubt we'll ever see each other again. So let me leave you with one word of caution. This impression of yours, this impression of yours is not particularly convincing. That Romani Archimon? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Uh, this guy's gotta be a servant, right? No, wait. On second thought. Maybe not? Doc? Doctor! Stay away from me. You make my head hurt. I knew it. Things simply happened to work out this way today. Just forget about what happened here. And don't tell anyone else from Chaldea about it either. There's someone on that boat who can't be trusted. Huh? What do you mean? I'm not going to tell you. Figure out for yourselves. It's your job to figure out how to get past the three obstacles that Artemis, Odysseus, and Poseidon pose. You need to find a way to cross the sea on your own power. Only once you do that, will you be granted the right to stand before this lost belt's king. Wait, please don't go yet! There is nothing left for me to see in this lost belt, and I have no interest in your struggles. If you don't want to die, no, if you truly want to live, then fight back. Not that I expect it'll make any difference. There's no way to save this planet. Ah, his hit. Ah, his heat signature is completely gone. It looks like he warped away on his own. Who is that man? Take it easy. Right now, we need to heal up and get the hell out of here. If Kristaya knew where we are, odds are better than even the Odysseus does too. All right, I need to report in. What the hell just happened? There was a moment back there when all of your vital signs just vanished. I thought my heart was going to stop beating. In fact, I'm quite sure that it actually did. Calm down, Gordy. You're not the only one who wants to get a word in right now. Oh man, what a really... You're okay, right? I think so. Phew. Alright, you can take your time and tell us all about what happened later. Right now, we need to get out of here pronto. Come on, hurry! Romani Archimon. I don't know how the hell he came back alive. me, Castor! You bet I will. I don't want to have to touch your filthy body any more than absolutely necessary. <laughs> okay, I'll go ahead and kill her now. <sighs> you. Let her. You know, Canis, I've always thought that you didn't belong with the gods. Your uncouth manner of speech, your intolerable attitude, Nothing about you befits a god. I expect Lord Kostaya only overlooked your behavior out of affection. Well, that's over now that Poseidon's noble phantasm has been demolished. So on behalf of all the true gods, we sentence you to death for your crimes. You let out. I'll kill you! Your twisted nature couldn't be more plain, Canis. 
Both your heart and your mind are warped beyond redemption. Even becoming a god has done nothing to fix that. You were never anything more than a recipient of the Sea God's love. How could you possibly begin to match us? You never even understood Lord Kostari's vision for bringing about a new age of gods. All you ever did was flail about in anger, curse the gods, and think of nothing but yourself. Given all that, did you really think Lord Kostari actually trusted you? Exactly. Of course he didn't. In the end, Canis, you were nothing more than a woman. I have to thank everyone at Chaldea for this opportunity. Though, of course, I'm sure they're all dead now. Alright, let's head back. We still need to tell Lord Kostoria that we dispose of the filthy bitch, just as he ordered us to. Oh, it. Ah, just die already! I'm sinking. Down, down, down. Damn it. Damn it! This can't be happening! I can't go out like this. I still haven't finished what I wanted to do. I still haven't avenged the miracle of me being summoned as a hero spirit. I still haven't had a chance to slaughter those bastard gods. And above all, I still need to pay him back for putting this color on me. I've got to pay him back! I need to pay him back! Kustaria! 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 Hmm. Whoa, what's going on? What in the world just happened? Where Kustaria? Did you actually manage to drive him off? I'm afraid the situation remains unclear. Once Kustoria Wardheim cast his second spell, we were only able to pick up audio and only bits and pieces at that. It could be a residual effect of the sheer scale of his remarkable magecraft, where he manipulated stars to rain down meteors. For the past three minutes, every one of our instruments effectively ceased to function. I doubt there's anyone inside the border who knows what happened. <sighs> <sighs> well, never mind that now. Subfrost, mass killer. Both of you, return here at once. Given the horrific battle you just been through, we need to check your vitals as soon as possible. Right. Understood. Let's go, Master. I know a lot's happened, but right now, we need to take stock of our current situation. Well done on making him back intact. The servants are still severely injured. But I'm overjoyed to see that you two are both unhurt. Unfortunately, we still have a problem with Kostaria to deal with. How in the world do you cast a spell capable of nearly decim dec decimating, decimating our servant without so much as a how do you do? Is that even humanly possible? No, it isn't. A few rare and notable exceptions aside, there is simply no way for a mage to be a servant who matched genuinely heroic accomplishments in life. Right? That's exactly what I thought too! And even among those notable exceptions, the very best they could hope to accomplish is to strike a single flaw in retaliation. Decimating multiple servants as easily as taking candy from the proverbial baby is simply not within human capacity. I took a look at Kostaria's file from before he became a cryptor. While there was no question that he was a true genius, if he had such massive amounts of magical energy at his command at the time, he would have been sealed dexinated. Sealed dexinated? It's what ends up happening to mages who exceed the bounds of genius and pursue singular fields of magecraft. It's essentially declaring them to be such intriguing figures that they need to either be kept in isolation or studied as a specimen. Being declared such a figure is the greatest honor the association can confer, but it also makes that figure's life very difficult. Mages like that love delving into the, their preferred fields of research, but once they have received destination, they can no longer pursue their research any further. While this usually leads to the mage in question going into hiding and cutting ties with the association, 
Every now and then, one of them is able to have their seal left in exchange for agreeing to contribute to the association. Incidentally, I can assure you that you can rest at ease, Sub Frost. Getting such a destination is something a third rate mage like yourself will never have to worry about. And even if you did end up designated thanks to some freak accident, I can always put in the word with my old policy chums to have it lifted. Ha ha ha! Thank you for peeling Mr. Sulfrost in, Gorda. At any rate, there you have it. If Kushtalia has previously possessed enough magical energy to cast a spell capable of wiping out multiple servants, we would surely have seen signs of it in records of the man. And yet, there was nothing of the sort. Any thoughts on the matter, Da Vinci? Oh, yeah, of course. That magecraft he used is the basis of what ended up becoming astrology. It's basically the primal form of astromacy magecraft. One that temporarily assumes control over planets, the heavens, and the universe. Mm hmm. Astromacy is part of Animal Spears' field of study, but it only deals with predicting the future and observing the stars. There's nothing in it that could possibly cause the sort of cataclysm we saw here. Did you hit your head or something, technical advisor? Believe me, I wish you were right. But after seeing their Chris Tyre's Magecraft in action, its identity couldn't be any clearer. That was ideal Magecraft. It is a type that is even older than an age of gods, back when the planets, the heavens, and the universe were all overflowing with magical energy. Over time, as humanity consumption-based civilization took control and developed further, every field of magecraft began to decline in power and scale. Astrology was no exception. While it once involved receiving power from space, at some point, it became nothing more than a way to observe space. However, I see. So, this is the original form of astrology. It draws strength from the stars in much more literal sense. The magical energy that rotates the planet, the magical energy that fills the sky, and the magical energy that rains from the heavens. In ancient Greece, the world, the sky, and the heavens were all separate layers, and each layer's magical energy value differed accordingly. So we can presume that the magical energy we saw Kirshtaya wielding here would be the heavens, that is, the laws that govern outer space. There's just no other way he'd be able to manipulate stars otherwise. The spell he cast involves manually aligning planets to have them form an absolutely ginormous magical circuit. It's no exaggeration to say he's able to use a bigger magical circuit than any other mage in all of human history. When you think about it that way, it's no wonder at all that he managed to create a reign of meteors. Honestly, it's still kind of hard to believe. But now that we've seen him in action up for ourselves, I had to conclude that Kostaria Wodan has reached the zenith of what's humanly possible to the point where he possesses even more absolute power than this Lost Belt King. Hmm, uh, uh, okay, but in that case, there's only one thing that adds up even less now than it did before. If his genius gave him godlike power, why didn't he use it to conquer the clock tower ages to ago? Like, why would he even bother coming to Chaldea at all? Yes, an excellent question. The Jealousy Riddle. Viewpoint of a commoner such as yourself has been most informative, Mooney. Indeed, that is a good point. As such, I can only surmise that Kustalia came to Chaldea for a single reason. Everything he did, he did to create this very situation. Before the earth was wiped clean, he was certainly an exceptional person but he was far from an omnipotent. So why is such a stark difference between then and now? The answer is obvious. Back then, this planet was simply incapable of recreating such ancient astromacy. Regardless of how we find the animal spear secret spells may happen, there was just no environment available to use them anywhere in the world. I suspect that is precisely why Kristalia chose to grow the Atlantic Lost Belt. The Greek view of space and the animal spears theories of magecraft have excellent chemistry, so to speak. So the closer the Greek world gets to the age of gods, the closer his magecraft approaches the domain of the gods. No, if anything, it becomes a mystic surpassing them. I can't believe it. Then, 
Does this mean wiping the earth clean was part of Kastaria plan all along? I'm afraid I can't speak to that. His power may be unrivaled here in this Atlantic Lost Belt. But he never had the kind of power capable of changing the world before, let alone bleaching it completely. No, I expect that was some other beings doing. The foreign god remains the most likely candidate there. And as far as the foreign god was concerned, Kristaria, with his magecraft capable of controlling celestial bodies, was perfect fit for the job. In fact, if you were indulge a moment's speculation, I would not be surprised to know that the foreign god considered every human other than Kristaria unnecessary. If true, that would make the other cryptos no more than a bonus. The foreign god could have done without them. That's awful. I can't imagine having such little regard for other people's lives. At any rate, I see no need to come up with a strategy for the next time we face him right now. Especially since we still lack any viable means of doing so. We can revisit this matter later, once we have more information to work with. Hmm, yes. I suppose you're right. I always put off the troublesome things till tomorrow. That's the music secret motto. Why secret? Because if too late I be, well, because if too late for it were to find out about it, she'd hound me incessantly until I got those troublesome things done. But never mind that. We should get going right now before something else comes and attacks us at sea. The clocking functionality is out back up and running. So now's a good time to rest up in your room if you want. I think I'll do that. Good. You should rest up too, Mash. I'd like you to try to recuperate as much as you possibly can. Unfortunately, being a damn eye servant doesn't do anything to prevent mental stress. I swear, they look like they might keel over at any moment. Ahem. <clears throat> Alright, speaking as your Supreme Commander, I want to commend you both on a battle well fought. However, right now, you need to take a nice hot shower and get yourself to bed. Commander's order. Go on then, on the double. Yes, sir. Hmm? <sighs> that was... Real money, oh, come on. I'm sorry to bother you when you're resting, senpai. Oh. That's okay. I want to talk to you, too. Thank you. May I sit down? <sighs> oh. What's that? Really, Dr. Roman? It sure looked like him. Yes, and that white jacket. Look a lot like the one Dr. Roman used to wear. But it wasn't him. At least I don't think so. You're right. I admit, my mind went blank. Went blank when I first saw him. But no, I don't think it was him either. Dr. Roman, Dr. Roman would never have looked at anyone like that, no matter what. So, that couldn't have been him. But, I still couldn't help but think. If that was really him, if I had one more chance to see him again, I thought I'd finally get to tell him how grateful I am for everything he did for us. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> hmm? Something wrong? Oh, no. Nothing's wrong. I was just hoping to talk to Master, but... It looks like he's only occupied. Gotcha. Mash is a good seven, isn't she? You definitely don't see a lot of shields out there. I guess when you're a master, there really is something special about your very first servant, huh? Um, yeah, probably. <sighs> right, of course. <sighs> yeah, I better just leave well enough alone here. Remind me. Why are you on my boat again? Because I wanted to be here. I'm sorry for the intrusion, Jason. I hope we're not bothering you. 
Well, you are a lie. Yeah, yeah, sorry for the trouble and stuff. Don't worry about him, Nash. It's quite a relief that we're able to communicate remotely once again, thanks to our restored cloaking functionality. However, we must remain vigilant. We may be able to fool the god's eyes, but not, not the human mind. Now that Kustoria has retreated to Olympus, they're bound to pull out all the stops. Then we'll just have to keep scurrying away like rats. I can only hope we are able to come up with a plan that can confound their expectations and thwart their own designs. I don't suppose you have anything to offer in that regard, Mr. Jason? Of course not! If it were easy to come up with a plan to defeat Odysseus and his fleet, somebody would have done it long ago. Be that as it may, we can't run away forever. Yeah, I guess you're right. Alright, I'm just going to trust my future self to come up with something brilliant. Need more after that seed. Goddess Ocean. Three battles on Astrea Island. Oh boy. Where the hell is it? I need a taunter. Should probably bring one more for DPS. I know this battle is like it's gonna be like all of my servants, including the enemy, will have their neutral damage. Alright, I know we've all been through a lot, but it's time to put that behind us. Is everyone all healed up? Yeah, we're all more or less back in fighting shape. Good, the next stop, Thetis Island. Hmm, it seems there's another island on the way there. So it does. Should we check it out? Hmm, no, that's okay. Our first priority right now is finding Achilles. Hold it right there! W what's this all about? You're just gonna pass by my island without so much as a glance? How dare you insult a god like that? Crap, you're a god? Wait, which god are you? You're probably just some river god or mountain god or some other minor deity, right? Your tone of voice makes it clear you're not giving me the respect I deserve. Well, if nothing else, I'm pretty sure you're not one of the 12 Olympians. True, I am not. But I do have enough power to stop your ship in its tracks. What's your name? I will reveal that later, when we come face to face. 
For now, I merely bid you welcome to... Australia Island! <sighs> uh, so it's Australia then. Well, fearless lady, what would you have us do? Looks like we have no choice but to make land on this island after all. Much as I really, right, okay, much as I really, really rather not. Why, it's Luvia, of course. Uh, what is that? It's very big, that's for sure. Maybe Hephaestus made it. No, that can't be right. Hephaestus would have sculpted the 12 gods and they'd all be uniform in size. But it can't be a statue of Astrea. Can it? What? Was she possessed by Narcissus or something? Hmm. You're totally thinking about defacing it, aren't you? <laughs> Come now, master. Watch what you say. Why would I ever think about doing something so hilarious? Well, you clearly are, so you tell us. A little mustache here, a little stubble there, and... <laughs> there! Not exactly original, but a classic beard. <laughs> I think this might get you in trouble. <laughs> what the goddess doesn't know won't hurt her, Corday. Sense wrong doing a foot. How did she find out? It wasn't me. You got it all wrong. He did it. Hold the hell up. I have never seen. I have never before seen a master who tried to pin their own crime on their master. I presume you are Astrea, the goddess of skills and justice, or rather, the pseudo servants serving as her vessel, to be precise. Indeed, I am. But I'm afraid there's something I must do now before I can introduce myself properly. Jason, hello, Captain of the Argonauts. Take up your weapon. Wait, huh? Are we really doing this? I will weigh your sins personally with my scales of justice. And be warned, the sin of profaning a god is the heaviest sin of all. I can't believe we're about to fight over this, but it looks like she means business. I'm sorry, okay. I even kind of mean it. Well, Master, it looks like I've got no choice but to fight. Ready for orders when you are. Very well then. As a sign of respect for your determination, I am willing to forgive your sins if you prove yourselves capable of winning by a fall, even just once. Now, have at you! が天秤に集い、きらめき。うん。スワナを仕掛けるのは楽しいな。これでどうかな。はい。王者の通りに。せい。行って。え。え。こうかしら。すべはい。これは象によって磨かれた我が魂の宝剣。ラブロンド面と受兵。必ず返して差し上げます。どう？何時の道はすでに途絶えた。星の輝き。今ここに。光。
いつでいいのかな行ってくらえ我が天秤に集いひらめきこうかしら光を<笑>いいでしょう仰せの通りに、はい、<笑>了解です<笑>ええ宝石の声を聞こうかしら聞こうかしらこれでどうかな幸福ええはいこれは憎悪によって磨かれた我が魂の宝石ラブロンドメントニューヘイン必ず返して差し上げますどう<笑>何時の道はすでに途絶えた<笑>あなたの罪を図りましょう我が宝石庫はこの夜空あなたの罪はこの星の数クスモスウォルムでは行くぞ<笑>勝負に危険も切り札もいらぬただ従前に整え当然に勝てばよい語らずの陣くらえ<笑>えあおえええ<笑><笑>かけるのは楽しいねはいええこれは憎悪によって磨かれた我が魂の宝刀ラブロンドメントニューヘイン必ず返して差し上げますどうガチャ何時の道はすでに途絶えたバトルエントリーってそうだこのようにただ当然に勝てばいいっておや芝居のなアトランティス3 layers of defense <sighs> That may be the most insolent answer you could have given Part of me would like nothing more than to weigh you on my skills once again But I'll forego that for now Come with me Okay All right, point only.
Wow, <laughs> so many Australia statues. I see you have an entire mountain's worth of statues here as well. Talk about creep. I mean, um, a distinctive sense of style. For some reason, I feel like I need to work out. Hey, is Master okay? We sure he's not cursed? It's no curse, I assure you. These statues have simply been blessed to inspire anyone who looks upon them to train their bodies to physical perfection. So they are cursed! Is there a reason you have all these statues here, Astrea? They're all very elaborately made. Then again, maybe it's more accurate to say I can really feel the dedication that went into them. Did you make them yourself? Dedication, huh? I see. So that is how they appear to you then. Hmm, I wouldn't say that. They're made exceptionally well. Sure, but that doesn't sound... Ah, uh, that's giving me a jump scare right there. But that doesn't mean much when they're a choice of models, so... But... Ow! What the... I beg your pardon. My scale just slipped out of my hand. I would advise you to watch your words as though your life depended on your discretion. Or the next thing to slip may just be my bare knuckles. As for the statues, they were sculpt sculpted by a servant who stayed at this temple for a while. Ah. Uh. Been dealt a bad hand, being a goddess of the scales, seeing as you, how you can't pick a side, Denji Muramasa. I mean, you can't even buddy up with anyone like that, eh? Oh, guess that's why this place is so bleak, huh? Bit of a waste for such a beautiful goddess. Alright, made up my mind. I'm gonna make a statue of you myself. Consider it payment for letting me stay here for the night. What's that? You like it? You wanna see even more of the like? If that's what'll cheer you up, then that's what you'll get. I'm still a businessman at heart after all. Whatever the customer orders, that's what I deliver. That said, the whole reason I'm here is because I've got a job to do. So I hope you don't mind if I only work on these when I got a spare moment. And that was that. Fortunately, I have plenty of stone on hand to work with, so I had him make you up every gram. I see. I'm very much a beginner when it comes to sculpting, but I'm still impressed by this sculptor's dedication. Whoever made these statues must have observed you very closely to capture your likeness so well. I'll say... You can almost sense the muscles rippling under the stone skin. This servant clearly knows the anat anatomy. Hmm. I don't suppose Michelangelo. Hmm. I don't suppose Michelangelo was uh, was summoned here, was he? I'm afraid not. I requested that the servant make these statues less because of my divine traits, and more because the girl whose body I'm possessing likes this sort of thing. That said, as a god of justice. I certainly don't have anything against muscular physiques. If I had to choose between punches, takedowns, and submission holds, I would go with takedowns first, submission holds second, and punches third. Oh, yes. Jeez, she's really letting her vessel's influence come through here. And in completely frivolous ways at that. On the other hand, she hasn't actually hasn't changed a bit when it comes to who she is on a fundamental level. Damn it. Now then, you say you wish to destroy Lady Artemis, the goddess of the moon. Defeat Odysseus' army, overcome Poseidon, reach Olympus, and cut down the tree of emptiness, yes? Will you help us? That is the most naive, ridiculous idea I've ever heard, so much so, so it actually makes me sick. Let me be perfectly clear. No human could ever accomplish such a feat. And the prospect of male heroes in pro proper human history, history emerging victorious against this lost belt is so preposterous it beggars belief. I am the goddess of the scales. Regardless of how I pass judgment, they will always come down firmly on the lost belt's side. Yeah, I figured you'd say that. The gods who once took you under your... The gods who once took you under their protection were all deprived of their power and destroyed. Now, only scant trances of them are left. Yes, that's right. 
Your quest have made you enemies of the gods themselves. I remain on this island in my capacity as a goddess of justice in order to maintain my impartial impartiality. You will receive no aid whatsoever from me. Please, we need your help. Can you just make a little exception or something? Absolutely not. To make an exception, regardless of size, would go against everything I stand for. Is that clear? I understand. I'm just glad we won't have to fight you. Hmm? Very well then. I will subject you to a number of trials. If you should pass these trials, I will provide you with information. Trials, huh? If you have no desire to take them, then I suggest you leave this island at once. In fact, that would be the smart choice in my estimation. You only have one life to live. You only have, okay, you only have one life to live, after all. So you may as well spend it in the cold shade, far away from danger. Hmm, there's something to be said for that option. No, no there is not. So, uh, what sort of trials are we talking about? Oh, they're very simple. All you need to do is fight and win. They will ask nothing more of you, and they will demand nothing less. With every trial you pass, I will share a new piece of information. And to make things more interesting, I think I will limit the number of servants who can challenge a given trial as well. Your master, of course, will be free to participate in all of them. Ugh, what a pain. Works for me. Okay then, let's start by pairing up. Crap, please tell me he didn't just say pairing up. Why don't we start with me, as for my teammate. Would you mind going with him, Charlotte? Huh? Me? Are you sure? Hmm. Yeah, that's probably the best call. Orion is easier the strongest of us, so pairing him up with one of the weaker servants should help balance things out. I see. That does make sense. Okay, shall we, Orion? Let's do it. Alright, I don't know who we've got to fight, but whoever it is, we're gonna wipe the floor with them. Very well then. Very well. Then let's have you start with the spriggan. Well, so much for any chance I had of being useful. Good luck! Oh boy. Well, I guess I'll just have to do the best I can. This is why I cannot use my own servant, it's just like a trial test. Here we go. <laughs> go fucking get him, Chad Orion. Alright, round two. Something different. Very well. Do you have any questions for me? Or shall I or shall I simply tell you something of my own choosing? Alright, if you're taking questions, I got one for you. 
If Hastus told us that the only way to harm Artemis was with the Divine Construct, does that hold true even if I use Theos Cleonomia to power myself up? Yes, it does. However, a god of Hephaestus skills should have little trouble forging a divine construct, given the right materials. Not to mention that. No, it would be tactless of me to say more. Orion, you are a hunter at heart. If you wish to shoot down a star, you will need to keep it in your sights with an arrow knocked to your bow. Hmm. Now, who's next? I said, now, who's next? Very well then. Lady Mash and I will take the next fight. Right, Mash killed it. Ready for battle. Ah. Uh, crap. Someone else took Mash before I could invite her to team up. And she's the easiest one to talk to by far. Very good. Then here is your trial. <laughs> I see. So instead of one spriggan, we will be fighting a number of Lamia that have been enhanced with nano machines. However, <laughs> dealing with serpents happens to be something of speciality of mine. So I will take this opportunity to demonstrate to Master just how devastatingly dead Lee at a Koga Junin can truly be. Well, shit, that's that one is absolutely, absolutely terrible because Lamia is a caster class type, so I don't know what the fuck. I guess I'm just gonna bring some uh, amount of crits, uh, fragments of 23 just to get more of a crit chance. This sucks. Facing against Caster and then she's an assassin. How is this even possible? There's absolutely no way we could have won this, but fuck. It's just like it's too long and it's gonna take a long time to fight against that caster. Especially we can't use our own servants to face it because this is a trial test. One is like, yeah, it's an inflicting NPCO. I'm not gonna use that one. No, fuck off. Don't you do that to me. Probably get a taunt for Mash. Could I? Just to keep Mochizuki Chiyomi safe. No way! Oh, uh, now he's dead. Or she. 
I would say. Thank God. You fucker! Oh my god. Come on, you come on, you fucking, you almost had it. Uh, why didn't you fucking finish it, Mochizuki? ならず、参ります。は。と。呪い、我が血を断れ。我が罪を口を。いぶき大名人へ。と。あの、ファッキングフリケンエイジの Alright, time to finish it. Mighty Oh my god. That shit is just tough and worst fight ever. Uh 
All right, last one for the trial test. Enough! That, that turned out to be much more challenging than I expected. Those Lamia you just fought were, let's say, premium products mass produced by the Echid... Echidna? The Echidna, incidentally, is essentially a living factory used to produce all manner of monsters. If you take them as lightly as you do their more ordinary elk, well, you are bound to suffer for it. The Echidna. I see. Then it is a member of the serpent family as I suspected. Uh, anyway, you, are not, you have now successfully cleared the second trial. Any questions? Oh, right. Now, what would be a good question? Do you have anything you wish to ask, Captain? Let me think. If you know of any proper human history servants who would be willing to join us, then tell us who they are. And while you're at it, I also demand you tell us why you're refusing to join us. I thought I made it clear you only get one question. But very well. As far as I know, Achilles will assuredly be willing to join you, as long as he's still alive. Aside from that, I believe there's a, there is also an archer. And that's all I have to say about that. <sighs> Damn, so we were barking up the wrong tree. I guess we call we can call that a bust. Make sure you ask a different question next time. You're wrong. If anything, I think that was some of the most terrifying information you could have told us. All right, Jason, keep it together. What about my other question? Okay, so what about my other question? True, I am a servant from proper human history. At the same time, I am also the Greek goddess of the scales. And above all, the 12 Olympians of this last bout, and I have already come to an arrangement. In exchange for not becoming involved in this dispute, I have forgone the choice to ascend to Godhood. Ascend to Godhood? Indeed. In essence, if I had joined Olympus, I could have been incarnated as one of this last bout's God pillars. But I turned their offer down, as I believed that doing so would inevitably tilt my scales too much to one side. So whether this last bout is destroyed or not, I will disappear when that time comes. Then, putting you aside, if the only other servants willing to join us are Achilles and an archer, then they're the last two friendly servants in all of Atlantis, aren't they? <sighs> ah, crap. I hadn't thought about it like that. That mean. That mean that aside from Achilles and this archer, all the other servants who were in this last battle have been wiped out. Wait, that can't be right. I'm sure there were a number of servants besides me and Chiyomi who stayed behind. So then, why did she only name two? You'll need to clear the next trial before I can address that question. Sadly for you, I'm afraid that response alone already qualifies as an answer. You're an you're an irritating one, aren't you? Very well then, I'll take that as you volunteering to be the next challenger. Hmm, fair enough. Manu Cardo! What is it? I don't want to lift so much as a finger or speak so much as a word of command unless I absolutely have to. So you're going to do all the fighting. What? Heh, <laughs> I can see you're unhappy about it. But this is just the way of the world. I'm going to run you rag, and you're going to take it. As captain, my word is law, and I won't tolerate any back talk. Now that's a plan I can, I can get behind. Huh? Why are you so happy about that? Me? I'm not happy. Not at all. Nope. Alright, let's do this. Very well then. Let's see what you got. Alright, it's Magicardo and Jason's left. And then that should be bring back, or not quite yet in the next battle.
戦闘っすねまあやれるだけやってみますいやはい了解よしたたきれやろうせいブリリア道路いくぞはいたアウチこの私に命令かおいおいおいおいおいいけなんでそらそくらえいけるいい無様にたけあくれぞ Wow, not bad, Jason. Got him pretty good chance. Pretty crit. Well, kind of getting barely into dying. ここでこうだ当然だろ勝利は目前だなおいおいこのおいおいおいいけなんでそらそくらえいけるいっ無様にたけあくれさあそこはうしあいたあ、uh, his noble fantasism is art, yeah, and then magic auto too. Um, better not use this one. I would just use magic auto as of now. Hey, yo guy. Say up there. Say. Okay. Oh, Go for it, man, Jacardo. Oh, do you know what it is now? Yes, you guys. Echo no ken. Quarrels no the same. Come on, so don't get them all. You know, I'm the leader. よし、完全勝利っすまあとにかく生きてりゃ勝ちあっチャオスエンデッドはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあはあ That done, I shall consider your earlier question answered. Whoa, whoa, back up. You don't get to make that call on your own. Oh, but unless I'm mistaken, you don't have any other questions, do you? I have one. We were told that there were other Theos Cleonomia out there named after the 12 Olympians. Do you know where we can find them? The Zeus Cleonomia and Poseidon Cleonomia are only found on Olympus. What about here in Atlantis? There should still be a Thena Cleonomia somewhere here in Atlantis. Originally, the Theos Cleonomia were a fluid metal designed to reinforce and augment the gods' bodies. So, the 12 Olympians went on to refine and enhance the individual Theos Cleonomia for their own purposes. Like air arrays, a Thena speciality was battle. If you are able to find her nanomachines, it's possible they may open new doors for you. But of course, there is more to it than that. A mere human spirit urgent cannot possibly hope to withstand the Athena Cleonomia. If any servant who is neither a divine spirit nor something close to one were to try and use these nano machines, they would either very literally fall apart or rupture on the spot. As Ikara so demonstrated, humans who stray too close to the gods are punished. This is a fundamental law of this world. So we can't use these Athena Cleonomia even if we manage to get our hands on them. Hmm. Hang on. You said something close to Divine Spirit, no? Then what about a seven who possesses some form of divinity? I'm afraid I must refrain from commenting further. Doing so could be construct construed as a sign of disrespect to the gods. Regardless, 
It seems clear that we must secure these nano machines for ourselves. If Odysseus' side were to get their hands on them, they could end up becoming a threat. Then again, perhaps not. Eh? At any rate, we will need to weigh the decision of whether or not to use them very carefully. Okay, I think that's about everything we wanted to ask. Hmm. Do you have anything you wish to ask Miss Astrea, Mr. Soulfrost? Uh... They were sculpted by a servant who stayed at this temple for a while. Yeah, what's the name of the servant who was staying here? Ah, your curiosity is understandable. There were two servants who were staying on this island at one point. They were from Olympus and claimed to be disciples of the foreign. No, that's not quite right. They are the ones who massacred the servants from proper human history under the guise of protecting the tree of emptiness. They were both alter egos. Huh? Alter egos, you say? Then that would be some combination of Rasputin, Limbo, and Konyanskaya. Although, while Rasputin is plausible, we encountered Limbo and Konyaskaya in India quite recently. So I don't see how they could have been staying here at the same time. Then again, if they were using Shikigami. Hmm? Whatever are you talking about? Yes, one of them was named Rasputin. He was a horrid priest who fought with an unsavory form of martial art. But the other one did not answer to any of the names you mentioned. His body was just as finely honed as Rasputin's, but he had both a cold sharpness and a fiery intensity about him. His true name was Senji Muramasa. He was a very handsome man who had mastered a hundred swords and a thousand sword techniques. Ah! Senji Muramasa? Not to mention Rasputin. Well, strictly speaking, he claimed to be a pseudo-servant with Rasputin, Rasputin's spirit urging. But as far as I could tell, he never behaved as I would expect Rasputin to. Not once. Though he did claim to be a man of the cloth like Rasputin was. Rasputin! As an Amonstan priest clothing who chased us down at 90 kilometers an hour before firing a rocket launcher at us? There's a name I wasn't expecting to hear. Then this would mean Senji Muramasa was one of the causes. There's something else this piece of Im information has made clear. So, I'll have to keep it to it myself for now. Astrea, would you kindly tell us more about them? As things currently stand, we have essentially no knowledge about them whatsoever. Very well, I suppose I can do that. Beat collection, disabose of the foreign stars. Alright. Your work is truly excellent. What? This? I'm just making them to keep occupied. Besides, I figure one statue a day ought to be good for a night's worth of food and shelter. Well, as far as I'm concerned, you can never have too many statues extolling your beauty and virtue. That said, there's one thing I can't help but find curious. Hmm? Aren't you a servant from proper human history as well? You bet. But right now, I'm a full, I'm a full blown enemy of humanity. There's a lot of nice things about being a servant, but having no say in who your master is ain't one of them. I'm here because the foreign gods summoned me. I don't know what they look like or what they're really after. But if they want me to do a job, I'll do it. No matter how cruel or heartless it might be. Besides, I'd never been one to please anybody except myself. I never cared about what was right or what was just from the first time I opened my eyes to the last time I closed them. I see. Now you only cared about pleasing yourself. And 
Were you able to do that even once while you were still alive? Ha! Huh. You know how to hit where it hurts, don't ya? Suppose that figures for the goddess of justice. You're right. Neither me nor this vessel I'm inhabiting now have ever once been satisfied with anything we've done. Maybe that's why I turned out to be a pseudo-servant. For the same deep down. But don't get me wrong. That doesn't mean I'm bored. There's a guy up in Olympus who's pretty alright. Be even better if he wasn't so damn big you couldn't move. The enemy is here, Senji Muramasa. I expect this will be the last of them. Let's hurry and get this over with so we can go back to Olympus. Oh my god, Kotomi Kirei and Emiya Shiro are just teaming up. I thought they were actually enemies in the Heaven's Field 3. Heaven's Field... Heaven's Field 3 something, I forgot what it's called. Yeah, that was the third one, Heaven's Field. I think, yeah. You got it. I swear these guys never learn. Alright then. Looks like it will just be the two of us fighting it together again, huh? Of course. We have no need for reinforcements. Not when we know e Not when we each know the others move so well. Given that we can tell exactly what the other wants or lacks in battle just by standing back to back. Having Limbo come in to ostensibly help would be a net negative. Yeah, yeah. You still look weirdly happy about it. Giving me the creeps. Ah, my apologies. While I, of course, have no memory of you, Senji Muramasa, nor of that man you possessed who presumably has some connection to Holy Grail War, I still find my vessel's feeling towards you both inscrutable and addictive, simultaneously similar and dissimilar to anger, anger and joy. So what? You think we've once fought each other to the death in some Holy Grail War? I expect so. Yes. <sighs> yeah, you might be right about that. I'm not aware of doing it, but it seems whenever we exchange glances, I always end up with a wicked grin on my face. I'm not usually one for having someone else my watch my back, but I tend to go big and wild whenever I'm swinging a sword. So it ain't bad knowing you're behind me taking care of the riffraff. Means I can really cut loose. Wonderful. That's most encouraging to hear. Very well then, let's go with that. There must have been at least 20 servants from proper human history summoned here. And those are just the ones I counted. And yet, those two alter egos working together managed to defeat all of them. Yet another reason I cannot see your chances of victory as any other than vanishingly small. <sighs> so, those two servants have gone back to Olympus by now. That's right. There was no longer any need for them to be here, now that Odysseus has arrived. What about Odysseus? Do you have any information on him? Have Hastus refused to tell us anything about him? Said he was scared of being found out. Alright, very well. I suppose I can tell you as a little bonus. I've only met Odysseus once, when he paid my island a visit. And I remember that he knew far. Far more about proper human history than I expected. This wasn't the sort of knowledge one acquires through reading, or listening, or even personal experience. It was very much as if he'd drained it directly out of someone, without leaving so much as a drop. I see. Hmm. Well, it looks like this is goodbye. Farewell, everyone. Wait! Stop! Just a moment! What is it now? I've already answered every question to I'm obligated to. Any more than this will throw up my scales balance. But please, just one last thing. It's important. Can we win this? Really? You're just straight up asking that? <sighs> Your odds are slim for sure. Even if you do manage to overcome Atlantis, Olympus still awaits. And it's not a matter of who has the superior numbers. The fact is, between ordinary humans like yourselves and gods whose lifespans range over 10,000 years, you
You simply reside on completely different conceptual planes of existence. Uh, but of course, that's not the question you should be asking. Huh? You all came here in the first place because you made a decision to destroy this world. And why wouldn't you? You're literally fighting for your right to exist. To put it another way, if you don't fight, you die. I'd say that makes winning or losing a secondary concern at best. After all, if you didn't want to fight and you didn't want to lose, you were better off deciding not to fight in the first place. But you made your decision and chose to fight. So now, that's all that's left to do. You may not be fighting for a just cause, but you still mean to fight, don't you? Then shape up already! Eh, hey, you're right, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't argue with that. Slim through our chances of victory, maybe. That's no excuse to throw in the towel. At the risk of repeating myself, let me be perfectly clear. Every living god in this world is your enemy. I would strongly advise you to keep that in mind. Thank you so much for helping us. There's no need to thank me. From this point forth, you and I may as well be perfect strangers. Goodbye. Alright, next stop, Thetis Island. For real this time. Cast off! Heaven's Bio Spring Song. They were, uh, yeah, that Emiyashiro and Kiri Kotomi were enemies, were rivals. And now, in this, uh, fake Grand Order story, they somehow just teaming up. Hey! Hey, you think you're gonna be okay, Paris? No, I don't! <laughs> I just woke up! Why is this happening? I've synced up with this last bell, and I just finished downloading information about it. Those guys are Atlantis border guards, and they're not looking to take you alive, so be careful. How exactly am I supposed to be careful here, Lord Apollo? Good question. Bitch me! Oh, but I don't recommend surrendering. They'll just cut off your head as soon as they get close enough. Couldn't you just have said that sooner, you big jerk? That means I've got no choice but to fight back. All right, take this. Oh. Whoops! Looks like your bows just looks like your bows just not strong enough to hurt them. They're power they're powered up with God fluid, aka Theos Cleonomia. So fighting back might not get you too far. Wow, Steph. There's got to be a better way to say that. Relax. It's just some fluid metal. Nano machines, nothing more. No need to be concerned. How is it any of that supposed to be me at ease? Now look, they went and cornered us while you were blabbing about stupid nonsense. Well, that's not good. Not good? This is terrible. Wow, save me, brother. Huh? Damn. Even after becoming a servant, you're still just a kid. It, it can't be. What's with the look? I'm here to rescue you, you know? Go on, find somewhere to hide. I'll take care of these guys. You, you're freaking at chimneys. Oh, you know who I am. As if I could ever forget. I'm, I'm. Ah, well, once you've been a hero experience, as long as I have, you get used to some servants just knowing your name. Anyway, sorry to do this, to do this, but I'm gonna have to literally kick you out of here for a bit. My name's Pat. Ah. Bah. All right. Now that the interlopers out of the way, I can start taking my anger out on you guys in earnest. <sighs> sorry, but there's no way any of you are walking away from this. I'm way too pissed off to go easy on you. Okay. 
さて俺の前に立ちはだかったってことは負けたいってことだよな準備完了だ行くぜもう行くぜトウ遅いさあ本気の速度だダメージュー<笑>ハウスコースト almost lost at 10% charge 準備完了だもう行くぜよし片っ端から蹴散らしてセリア遅いクサントスバリオスペルトス命がけで突破して我が命は流星のごとくトロイアストラゴンイリア I can't use my master skills or command s k i l l because I wasn't there. Yep, I wasn't there. No, Marca Zero, Ixe. Two. Oh, sorry. Sir, Honchi no Sogoda. Taku. Dagara it tajanega. Coach Tora Jinse Hambun or Tadakani Agregunda. That didn't help me feel better at all. <sighs> whoa, whoa, what do you think you're doing back here after I just saved you? I mean, I do feel bad about kicking you out of there, even if it was an emergency, but. Not that, it's not that at all. I didn't want you to rescue me. Not you, of all people. Huh? Wait, no way. Don't tell me you're. That's right, it's me, Paris! So it is you? But what the hell? You don't look anything like I remember. What do you mean? I've been wondering about that myself. I have no idea why I look how I did in my shepherd days. What's going on here, Lord Apollo? Why did I materialize like this? Because this point in your life was your prime, of course. Prime cuteness, that is. Was that last part really necessary? Hey, is that Apollo? As in one of 12 Olympians? Does this mean you're on the Olympus side, you little bastard? What? No! Sorry, but you have to forgive me if I can't just take your word for it. Well, what about you? You're the son of Thetis, and she's a god! Lord Apollo, please, let me eat once more. I need your help to do battle with the chilies. Hmm, well, I guess every human is bound to make foolish mistakes now and then. All right. Whether this is all a big misunderstanding or not, I'll give you a hand. Fortunately for you, Achilles is weakened right now. And since you are powered up with Theos Cleonomia, you've got a real chance of beating him. Got it! <laughs> so you are on Olympus' side. I knew it. Alright then, fine with me. I already swore an oath to fight to my death anyway. Here I come! Bring it! Oh boy, please guys, don't fight. Well, we're here. Uh, why did it have to be Achilles, damn it? Not that I met him when I was alive or anything. I can just tell from his legends that I'm gonna hate the guy. He's the sort who will be all, Hey Jason, mind spotting me for a sandwich bro? And then never pay me back. You think so? Well, honestly, that's pretty much the impression I've got of him too. I've never seen him before, but he sounds like the bold and unabashed type with a lot of stubble and a booming laugh. So again, I've never seen him before. That's not what I remember him being like. Pardon me, but our sensors just detected what appeared to be small-scale explosions. Looks like it. Sounds like people fighting. And I'm pretty sure that I hear swords clanging. If someone is fighting on this island, there's an excellent chance that someone is Achilles. Come on, let's go. Understood. Damn it, I really don't like this. 
But I guess we've got no choice. <clears throat> this kid's a lot stronger than he looks. You're the one person I refuse to lose to. Whoa! Damn it. I always hated this guy's skill with the bow, even while I was still alive. You're gonna pay for killing my feather! Yeah, that's it. Kick his ass! He's gotta be on Olympus' side anyway. Me? On Olympus' side? Don't even joke about that. Then again, maybe that's too much to ask, seeing how you look like a bad joke yourself. How dare you! I'm no joke. I'm Apollo. Yeah, you're right. This isn't a joke. Having a shitty god like you as some kind of freakish mascot is a goddamn nightmare. Don't be rude. I know it doesn't look great, but this is actually a real power move for a god. That just makes it worse. Okay, you're not wrong about that. Go on, Paris. You gotta at least try to stand up for me. I've just accepted this as being what gods are like for a long time now. Besides, it's cute in its own way. Ugh, this is all throwing me off my game. Alright, I didn't want to have to use this. But now that I'm sensing more people headed this way, I'm gonna have to hurry up and finish you guys off. Watch out, Paris! Got it! I'm picking up magical energy. He's going to use his noble fantasism. Santos! Valios! Pedazos! Come to me! A charot! So he's a rider! I've got you now! Troya's track or- That's enough! Huh? Damn it! I missed! I managed to touch it! Who are you? I'm a master from proper human history. Proper human history? Guess that means we're on the same side then. So, you're not enemies. That's right. At least, I hope not. What about you? Seeing how you were apparently just fighting to the death, is one of you a Lost Belt servant? Actually, hold on. Which one of you is Achilles? I am. Okay, then who are you? Oh, right. Well, it may be presumptuous of me to say this. I'm one of the heroes of Troy from proper human history. My true name is... My true name is Paris, and I'm an archer. Huh? You mean you're a proper human history hero? That's what I've been saying all along! Hmm? Wait, did I say that? No. No, you didn't! Ah, damn it! All oh, that fighting for nothing! <sighs> now my wound's acting up. Are you okay? Oh, uh, thanks. But don't worry about healing me. This wound can't be cured. Seriously? What? Did a hypey cut you or something? I wish. No, I got shot through my heel. <laughs> That's awful! Assuming that's the same heal as your fatal weak point in your otherwise immortal body. Are you sure you'll be alright now that it's been shot? Yeah, I'm okay for now. But I'm about 70% slower than usual, and I'll die if something shatters my spirit core in this condition. Usually the only things that can hurt me are a god, someone descended from a god, or a divine construct. Oh yes, I remember. It made it really hard to kill you. Is that sheep talking? Huh? How? I've got a nasty feeling about this. So let's just clear things up now. You there, sheep. Who the hell are you? Hey there, my name's Apollo. I'm Artemis' brother and one of the 12 Olympians. <sighs> then you are our enemy. Wait, please. Th this not Apollo isn't like the other gods, I promise. You know, I think Hephaestus may have said something about this. Let's see. I think he said the gods who stood with us were Hephaestus, Athena, Hestia, Ares, Hades, and Apollo. Right, Apollo, the sun god. They're all supposed to have been on humanity's side. Not to mention that, strictly speaking, I'm not one of this Lost Belt's 12 Olympians either. Though... So, you're the Apollo from proper human history, then? That's a big affirmative. What's more, 
I just downloaded the data from the Slosh Bell. So now, I'm a god who stands with proper human history, and who has full access to the Slosh Bell's information. So if there's anything you want to know about the Slosh Bell deities, I'm your sheep, uh, god, whatever your question might be. I'll pop up the answer quick as you please. Um, are you sure you don't mean cough up? Nope, barf. You know how sheep have four stomachs. Well, one mine is just for data. Please don't vomit when you're sitting atop my head. Relax, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's a proper human history god, all right. There's no way a god from here would still be so irritatingly cheerful. Hell. That kind of cheer would be the first thing they got rid of. So, I really did wear myself out for nothing. How do you think I feel? Um, is there some black, bad blood between you two or something? Yes, Master. You could say that. During the Trojan War, Pyrus is the one who shot Achilles through his heel, killing him to avenge his brother, Hector. Yep, it's true. Of course, back then. He had at least a few more centimeters on him than he does now. My height's got nothing to do with anything. Anyway, that aside, how come you don't seem to care at all that I killed you? Hmm? Why would I? I knew I was proper sized to die young. And given how I'd chosen to live out my life as a hero, I kinda expected I'd die in that war. And that's pretty much why I was able to fight as hard as I could right up until the moment I died. So if I don't seem all broken up about you being the one who killed me, that's why. Huh! Alright, never mind all that. Achilles, are you willing to help us? Help you? Well, I am a proper human history servant and all. So yeah, of course I'll help. Though I'm not quite as strong as I used to be since I'm not immortal anymore. How about you, Pyrus? I hope you all too, of course. I mean, please, let me help you. You said you were a master, right? Yep, I'm so cross. Got it. Okay, let's so fast. I recognize you as my master and vow to serve you the best of my ability. Man, for someone so small, you sure are a huge stick in the mud. Anyway, it's good to meet you guys. What are you choosing? Sherlock Holmes, consultant detective. A question for you, actually. If I may, do you still have your armor and shield? My armor and shield? You mean the armor and shield my mother had Hephaestus make for me? Right. We've been looking for you in the hope of finding that same armor and shield. Hmm, gotcha. Well, unfortunately, I don't have the shield anymore, but I do still have an armor. So what do you need them for? Well... Now I see. Now I see. So you want to make my armor and shield into divine construct I can use to take down Artemis, huh? Sorry, but there's no way that's happening. Huh? W why not? Look, I don't mind giving you the armor. I don't even need it anymore. But like I said earlier, I'm a good deal weaker than I used to be thanks to my heel being literally shot. Sure, I can still call my Shira, but I really don't think I could survive riding it up to orbit at hypersonic speed. Plus, and this is just my warrior's intuition speaking, but trying to take down Artemis in anything less than perfect condition, especially with an injury like this, well, I don't think I'd have a chance of beating her. Then, what are we supposed to do? If we don't have a way to get past Artemis, we ha we'll have no hope of making it to the Tree of Emptiness. Hold on! You said you can still manifest your armor, right? Yeah. Then what if we bring that armor to Hephaestus and ask him to make it into a bow and armor? A arrow? Huh? A bow and arrow? Hmm. Aha! Now I got you. True, 
The armor was forged by Pep Hastus himself, so it definitely qualifies as a fully fledged divine artifact. And if you guys want to remake it into something else, I don't have a problem with it. But can you even do that? We can manage as long as we have Lord Hep Hastus helping us. I think. Well, either way, I wasn't planning on using it myself. So who's gonna fire this bow? I will! I'm afraid I can't recommend that, Paris. Why not? Because it would be impossible for you. You could push yourself so hard your spirit urge starts to crack. And you still wouldn't hold a candle up to Orion in terms of power. You wouldn't even be able to knock an arrow to a divine construct bow, let alone fire it. Not even with my help. I see. So that just leaves me. You sure about this, Orion? Even if we know that Artemis is your... Well... I'm fully aware of that, actually. Even so, I'm willing to go ahead with this. Let me uh, just ask you one stupid question. Are you doing this because it's the right thing to do? No. It's got nothing to do with that. This is about responsibility. Gotcha. In that case, the armor's all yours. Besides, I wasn't going to use it anyway. Then we're done here, yes? Great! Let's hurry up and go see Hep Hastus. Right on. Excuse me, I I'm coming too. Please let me come with you. Oh, but are you really sure we can rely on this kid? That's... Well, never mind. Here they come. Are those? You guys must have fought some of them before, right? Those are Atlantis border guards. You know, this works out nicely. Why don't you give Pyrus here a shot to see how he fares against them? As for me, well, you already know I've got what it takes, right? Holy hell, he's like a walking mountain of confidence. What? Where did you get off signing me up for something like that without even asking? But that said, it doesn't seem like it'd be a good chance to show off what I can do. No, I don't have a problem with that. Don't worry, I'll lend you a hand if you need it. Don't bother, I won't need your help. I won't. Well, you did. Why would we go for it, Team Archers? それ。よし、やってみよう。いって。
the bone of my soul. So, I pray. Unlimited blade what? Alright, here goes. Here! There you go! Looking good, Pyrus! Eh, it'll do. Who asked you? Hey, I've got a right to voice my opinion. You killed me, remember? I mean, back when we were alive. I remember. I also remember how you killed my brother. At least back when we were alive. <sighs> Alright, you two. There's no time for this. The fact is, you're both dead now, okay? Ouch! But yeah, I guess you're right. Iris, I won't say we should be friends, but we can at least work together. Yeah, that's fair. There you go. Shaking on it is the first step to making up. I don't think I'm really be of much help, but I hope that's okay. Don't worry, you will. You're a lot more helpful than me, that's for sure. Oh, say, just take a look at her. The only thing she's good for is killing people with their backs turned. Though of course, without my crew here, I'm just as useless as she is. Hey, who are you calling useless? Um, Jason. Hey, would you lay off the one man show please? Oh, interesting. Honestly, you didn't make a great first impression. But you're actually a lot more approachable than I thought. Oh no I'm not! Now stay away from me! I can hardly tell we'll mix like oil and water. <laughs> now you've really got my interest. C crap, he's just as bright as true as I imagine. There's no way I can't get along with him. And Jacardo? Oh man, you're letting me go already? Huh? Letting you go? I mean, never mind. More importantly... Hey, uh, Pyrus. Sir. This Pyrus fight? What is it, Andrew Oh, okay. Well, uh, I was just kind of curious about something. Mayhaps you could, um, pray tell me what Lord Hector was like. Why are you talking like that? Why do you think? This is Hector we're talking about here. Of course, I'd be glad to tell you about all about Big Brother's many wonderful qualities. Awesome! First off, he was impeccably handsome. Handsome like damn right on his best day. I mean, his helmet shone like no one else's. Go on. I think I better give them some space before I'm tempted to get in the dick. Otherwise, I think I could inevitably end up sparking a serious bloodbath. Yeah, that's probably be a good idea. At Chili's, could I talk to you for a moment? Nash? 
fine with me. Thank you. I want to ask you more about what you said earlier, about how you were able to fight until you died. People don't live forever. The meaning we find in our li lives tend to be something we learn after the fact, which is why we try to face life head on and live each day as best we can. Makes sense. But even so, knowing your death is imminent and not just at some vague, uncertain point in the future. Well, it sounds terrifying to me. So I wanted to ask you, how could you stay unafraid of death at Chile's? Is it because you were a hero? Yeah, maybe. Some people become heroes by saving others' lives, and some people and some become heroes by taking them. Unfortunately, I was one of the latter, so I knew I was never going to be afforded a peaceful death. And sure enough, back when I was alive... That's when Hector said, Lord Apollo, would you mind doing your impression? Well, come on now. What's the point of cornering an old man? You fell for it, didn't you? Oh man, that's just badass. That carefree kid laughing it up over there, along with the god sitting on his head, ended up taking me down. But you know, I don't mind that I died how I did. It might not have been peaceful, but it was still satisfying. Plus, since I was this big hero who was so famous, now I get to be summoned like this. Mash, you and Selfrost are both gonna die and go your separate ways at some point. That's just your fact. But that doesn't have to happen anytime soon. My life being so short is why I died without any regrets, and I'm able to fight again now to help ensure you two can live good, long lives. Hell, if I have to, I'm even willing to die here again to make that happen. You think you're gonna die here? Well, I can't say for sure. More intuition than anything else. But, uh, how can I put this? Let's just say I don't think I'm gonna get to say goodbye after everything here has been wrapped up nice and neat. But hey, if you like having me around, you can always just summon me again. Do that, and I'll die for you as many times as you like. Don't worry about that. I'm just glad you're here now. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, but I've got to warn you. I'd like to have my cake and eat it too, so I'm planning on dying like my life depends on it. Hey, Mandricardo! I'm gonna bring up the rear for a while, so I'd like you to stay close to Master in the meantime. Right, got it. You really admire Hector, don't you, Mandricardo? Hell yeah, I do! I can actually see the stars in your eyes. Wait, really? Alright, stop looking at me. Come on, knock it off! As far as I'm concerned, there's no greater hero than Hector. So if I ever get a chance to meet him, well, I want to be able to face him with pride. Alright, let's finish this before I'm going to go to bed. Alright! We now have the material we need to make a defined construct. Which means we're one step closer to giving Artemis some well-deserved payback. Hmm, this feeling. Uh, what is it, look, shit? Yeah! Uh, ow, 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 ow! W what's happening? <laughs> Damn it! It's the same thing as before, remember? We were told the next piece of information would become accessible once we got the materials for the divine construct. Ugh, this is the freaking worst. My ears are still ringing. Well, at least now we we know where to find her pastas. Very good. Then if you would kindly tell us the coordinates, I'll have Captain Nemo put them up on the map. Sure. 
Cap hates this is right around. Here, right in the heart of the Great Labyrinth on Perse Island. Hephaestus is at the very end of the path that winds through the massive, intricate maze of the Minotaur. Well, it's for its unit, anyway. Okay, looking at the map, it should take us about two days to reach Perse Island. We'll stop at a small island on the way to rest up, then we'll keep going until we found him. I'd also like you to get more of Hephaestus nano machines, about three sevenths worth, if you can. According to my calculations, that should be enough to completely restore the border. No, not just restore it, to let it be reborn. I even drew up some blueprints for its new design. Take a look. I'm afraid I don't quite know what I'm looking at. And of course, it'll call for a name change as well. It won't just be boring my Nautilus name anymore. It'll be a new vessel, one better suited for your journey. Though of course, that's all there's still. A nice daydream at this point. Well, this is how Hastings' own temple we're talking about. I'd say the odds of it having enough nano machines for a tree servants are better than even. Probably anyway. Okay, let's get back to the ship and get ready to set sail. And as soon as that's done, I'm taking a well deserved cat nap. But servants don't need to sleep. I might be your servant. But I'm also making full use of my brain every hour of the day. So it's only natural I need a break and some sweets to recharge. Are you sure that's true? But, alright. Then I'll bake you some cookies or something once we're back on the ship. Good. That's what I like to hear. Alright, this may be a little unnecessary by now, but... My name is Achilles. I might not be in peak condition right now thanks to my heel being shot. But I swear on my mother and father alike that I'm willing to give everything I have to help humanity. <sighs> hey, what are you waiting for? Go on, introduce yourself properly. Ah, uh, right. Um, my name is Paris and I'm an archer. I, um, may not even remotely compare to Orion. But I promise I'll at least do my very best. Thank you for having me. Oh, one last thing. I also hate Achilles. Was that last bit really necessary? Yes, it was. Oh, well, that's okay. The main thing is that we're both in the same boat now, figuratively, and very soon, literally. And that means we're part of the same crew, even if we hate each other. Well, uh, yeah, I guess. I'm surprised how pragmatic they're being about this. Well, for better or worse, heroes from ancient times are used to killing each other. There's more than a few Celtic heroes like that too, if I'm not mistaken. Of course, I doubt it's as easy as that when they have ideological differences, like Edison and Tesla. <laughs> how can you be so indifferent when I'm still not over it? Huh, as I truly said, we're all in the same boat now. And that boat, literally the last hope for humanity's survival, is on the verge of sinking. So whatever your differences might have been before, you're going to leave them all behind before you come on board. Oh boy. Alright, uh, I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna tune out next time for the Lost Bell 5 Atlantis. So I'll see you guys next part of the live stream. So peace out and have a good night. <laughs>